Hello, welcome to another tutorial with John from johnesberg.com and I'm going to be happy to show you here in this case how to do an import and then jump into how to uh, make up touch-ups on a photograph for engineering purposes. So let's select import and go in and pick the image we want, images we want to work with. Um, first of all, I'm going to deselect all dates. I only want the last five that I have recently worked with. As you can see here, the only ones that haven't been dimmed out in the previews. Okay, looks good. Now I have my options of file, file handling. I'm just going to be copying from the camera into Lightroom. I'm going to be putting it into a folder I've already selected. I'm not going to be copying in duplicates. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm not going to run any presets on, on the development settings, so I'm going to change the metadata to m myself, and I'd like to add cracks onto the keyword selection. I'm going to keep the previews one-to-one, -one. and let's do an input. Okay, definitely not going to be bringing any movies. <laughs> okay, as you can tell, I shot these with a point-and-shoot. Oh, I have a duplicate from an experiment I was running earlier. Okay, I'm not going to have that. That's fine. And uh, as you can see in the upper left, it's uh, brought the images in. It's rendering the one-to-one -one previews for us. I like to use one-to-one -one just to get everything set up because I'm going to immediately work with everything. And okay, there's my first image showing up in the navigator and. Everything is now done and ready to work with. Um, I'd like to get a better look at these images, so I'm going to increase my thumbnail size. Scroll into proper position. All right, looks good. Okay, now I'm going to adjust my ratings. I can pick zero for nothing, and from one to five for the number of stars for each image. And what I'm doing is I'm selecting the quality of the cracks that showed up in this plastic. Um, a lot of times, small small breaks in a piece of plastic don't show up well unless you make proper adjustments with everything. Um, this is really important for engineering applications. Um, oh yeah, I just hit a uh, control control shift to control alt two. That brings me into the develop module. And I think I need to uh, properly set up this image so that the plastic piece is actually the focus of the image. So R to go into crop, and now I'm going to properly align the image. All right, kind of shift the image around by dragging on the screen. Good, good. All right, I want to on the left there, the one of the fingers has a little bit of an issue, and I don't want that to be the focus of somebody looking at this image, so I'll make sure that the part is there. Yes. It's center, it's properly lined up so that it's really the only focus of this image. Now I'm going to be drawing out the the details in that piece of plastic and I'm not gonna really care much about the fingers so let's go into tinting I'm paying attention to my my polycarbonate there or sorry temperature now tint move down a little bit now instead of using exposure slider I'm gonna go up to the histogram Ah, doesn't that work nicely just drag it to where you need it go back and forth left and right Excellent. Bring out the blacks. See if I can make those cracks pop out a little bit more. You don't want people to be neglecting your uh, your production issues if uh, if you can help it. Now, if you look, I turn clipping back on, and yeah, the bottom, the blue at the bottom of the screen showing uh, I have clipping down there. And it lets you know really where your limits are. Now I'm pushing up my contrast. See if I can help get, develop those cracks a bit more turn off my clipping it's a bit of a distraction okay scroll down some oh, scroll down a little bit here ah good okay into my present sliders just some clarity mid-tone contrast that's what I'm aiming for here play with the vibrance a little bit see if I can get any effect I like out of it okay all right so now into the adjustment brush. 
Now, I just want to remind you, um, if your adjustment brush is at the wrong size for what you're trying to do, use the left or the right brackets to adjust the size of the brush, and if you're in the wrong position, go over to the navigator window and drag the image to where you need to be working. Okay, so now I'm adjusting the brush, and it's time to drag along the crack. I just want to make a mask along the defect and you thought Lightroom was only for adjusting portraits and landscapes. Haha, <laughs> surprise. Lightroom definitely has its purposes in other places. Okay, so there's a starting point to my mask. Let's take a look at it. Let's see, it shows up a nice pink color. How manly. Now I'm going to play with the exposure a bit. You know, I can't really take the exposure too far. Things really will look ridiculous. So it's looking like I'm going to be hovering around minus 0 0.40 the whole time. I'll play with it a little bit more. Let's go to the other side. We'll continue working on this uh, on this crack right here on the on the other side. Uh, oh, I dragged a little bit off. Uh, nobody's perfect. Go to erase change my uh, brush size, beef it up so I can get a good sweep and wipe everything out. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Go back to the A brush. Let's try drawing this again. Now, as I'm dragging, you can you can start to see that the exposure adjustment it's already coming into play it, it, it kind of helps you to see where you're going which is a nice little trick about the adjustment brush Adju make your adjustment in some cases before you go and use it and uh, it makes it easy to see your tracks okay that looks good zoom back out by hitting Z for the quick shortcut play with it a little bit well let's, let's check that mask yeah oh, okay all right, let's play with the exposure a bit. You can see taking it too far, what the results are, which is just ridiculous. Nobody's going to believe that. The idea here is to make a point, not to make it ridiculous. And this does, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, this definitely can make an, a, a positive effect in, a, in responses from your suppliers, contract manufacturers, whatnot. All right, control shift sorry shift tab to close out all the panels and I'm hitting backslash to cycle the before and after images we've definitely made an effect okay well I hope you enjoyed that tutorial here it works